Hey y'all, welcome back to General Wellness, and today we are doing another review video of a food product. So if you are new here, my name is Addie Abahash, and I am a registered dietitian in Texas. And this little series that I like to do is reviewing food products for four different things so that you can know if they are worth your money and if they are healthy for you to consume. So as you can see today, we are doing a review video over Halo Top Ice Cream. It is dairy-free and considered vegan, soy-free and all of that. So a dairy-free ice cream to see if it is worth it. The four different things that we're going to be reviewing these food products for are number one, the nutrient labels. So we're going to look at carbs, fats, proteins, all of that on the back of the packaging to see if it's healthy. The second thing is going to be the ingredient list. So again, we're looking for any additives, fillers, or sneaky ingredients that might make this product not good. The third thing is going to be price because a lot of these health foods can be really expensive. So we'll see if it's worth the price. And fourth, of course, we're going to be reviewing it for taste and flavor. So a little disclaimer about this ice cream is that I do eat dairy. I just want to see how this one stacks up. I've had different flavors before, but this is going to be the peanut butter cup version, and I want to see how good it is. Okay, so let's dive in. The first thing is going to be the nutrient label before we taste it. And so it says that a serving of this is half of a cup. And there's four servings per container, which is pretty typical for these little like pint size um, ice creams. And so if we're looking at things like calories, fat, and all of that, it is 80 calories a serving. And it is 4 grams of fat, 15 grams of carbohydrate, 4 grams of sugar, and 3 grams of protein. So overall, this is not a ton of carbohydrates, not a ton of sugar. There are 5 grams of sugar alcohol though. And we'll get into that a little bit more in the ingredient list, but that's something to maybe watch out for if you have um, sensitivities to sugar alcohols that might cause some GI distress. Three grams of protein, I mean, pretty low, but we're not really looking for the protein when it comes to ice cream anyways. So I would say overall for this Nutrient Facts label that it looks pretty good. And then we go on to the ingredient list. Coconut milk. Uh, prebiotic fibers, organic cane sugar, erythritol, which is one of those sugar alcohols, peanut butter, of course, because that's this flavor, rice protein, vegetable glycerin, pea protein, natural flavors, and then a couple different additives and flavorings. Overall, for this ingredient list, we know that looking from the label that there are going to be sugar alcohols in this. It's also one of the ways they keep the carbs down, keep the added sugars down too, and so I'm not shocked by this because it's marketed as a health food, nor do I think that we should be scared of sugar alternatives. But I'm also not scared of real sugar either. As far as price goes for this little guy, it is $3.88 at my local grocery store where I got it. Compared to something like a, a real ice cream, if you will, like Blue Ball that we have here in Texas, which would be about $2.88 at that store. So it's not like a generic store brand, super, super cheap. It is a little bit of a price premium because you are paying for the health of this and the marketing of this as a health product. But overall, I don't think it's an outrageous price. And fourth and finally, let's dive in for taste and flavor. I've been letting this sit out for a little bit because it says, um, you might notice that your Halo Top sometimes freezes a little harder I think it's because it's more um, water-based and has less fat in it. So it tells you to let it sit out. But here we go. So I don't know if this is the right flavor for me. The texture is pretty good. It's not um, chalky or anything like that. It's not obviously as creamy as real ice cream, but it's not chalky. But the flavor of this is just like not exact. So maybe I didn't get the right flavor and I could chalk it up to that because it definitely tastes like peanuts, but it kind of tastes like, you know, sometimes when you eat a bunch of peanuts and you get a bad peanut, kind of tastes like the bad peanuts in this one. So maybe that's just this batch, um, but maybe I just need to try a different flavor. If you have ever eaten Halo Top ice cream and you have a favorite flavor, let me know in the comment section below because I actually really do like this texture and 
for me, when I'm eating ice cream, I really like cold things. I don't know why. Like for breakfast, I really love yogurt, and I think that's because it's cold. Not exactly sure what that's about, but it's my personal preference. So I love ice cream. I love the coldness. Super weird. But it's getting the job done for that. It is sweet, but not too sweet. And it's got that creaminess going on. I think I just need to pick a different flavor. So overall, a review of Halo Top ice cream from my perspective. For thing number one that we're looking at is the nutrient label. It doesn't have a ton of unhealthy fats, which is great. It doesn't have a ton of added sugar, but it does have some sugar alcohols in it. Protein was kind of low as well, but we're not looking for protein in this, so it's totally fine. For thing number two, the ingredient list, there are some sugar alcohols, as I mentioned, with the erythritol, and then there's also some stevia in it. You shouldn't be worried about either of these things unless you notice that your stomach gets upset when eating too much of them. So maybe if you have three or four of these pints, you might notice that those sugar alcohols cause your stomach to be upset. But other than that, there's no need to worry about these. There was some little bit of added protein in there, um, probably for texture, but overall the ingredient list also gets my seal of approval. For thing number three, the price, as far as a health product goes, this was a really reasonable price. For this little pint, it was $3.88, as I mentioned, which is really only like a dollar more than um, kind of like a normal ice cream. So for price, it's also great. And thing number four, the most important thing is taste and flavor. So for me, this peanut butter cup wasn't the best flavor. I need to hear from you guys on which Halo Top versions that you like, which flavors that are your favorites, so comment in the section below. But as far as texture goes and overall feel of this ice cream, I think that another flavor would probably be good because it had a really good texture, it wasn't gritty or grainy or anything like that. So in summary, Halo Top ice cream gets my seal of approval. I think it is a more healthy alternative to regular ice cream. But also, I'm not scared of regular ice cream. You guys know that I love it. But if it's something that you want to eat more often, which I would love to eat ice cream every single day, I can add this into my routine and it could still be healthier, less saturated fat and all of the added sugar versus a regular ice cream that I also enjoy every now and then. Hopefully this review was helpful for you to see if Halo Top is healthy or not or if it's an option that you want to consume. I get a lot of questions about health food products, so if you have a particular product that you want me to review, leave a comment in the section below, or feel free to direct message me on Instagram.